your life to me. You took away that which I held so sacred. You turned my heart into shreds. You took away my life and gave me darkness instead. You suffer. You suffer. You suffer. Mr. Dozier, have you spoken to your mother recently? Yes, I did, but not in the manner she wants. Okay, I understand. Your mother has been calling me incessantly. I told her to call you. You see, it's not in my place to tell her what we discussed. Your mother is a good woman. You asked to see me in three days. Yes, I did. What problem do you have with God? I do not have a problem with him, but I've chosen not to have business with him. Oh, that's good. Why do you think he's good? Well, uh, since you say you don't have a problem with God, and you don't have a business with him, that means that you recognize his existence. Are you trying to confuse me? Oh, certainly not. Mr. Dozier, you are a very intelligent young man. I don't need to do that. Tell me, what problem do you have with God Almighty? Your God failed me, failed himself. Yet the man that I pretend that everything was well. It was on a Sunday. And as usual, I had to be in church. My mother was overtly passionate about church. That she had to be there like every day. Monday through Sunday. Dancing, singing, preaching, evangelizing. I and my sister loved it. Because she loved it. That it became part of our lifestyle. And everything that happened to us, our family, no matter how minute, it's according to the dictates of this all seeing and all knowing God. Everything seemed perfect until that very Sunday. My mother was ill, very ill. My father decided that we had to stay back. But my mother vehemently refused, saying it was the devil who was trying to debar us from the anointing of that day. My father reluctantly accepted. And that very Sunday, God punished me for something I do not understand. Took away my joy and my happiness. My sister was taken to the hospital unconscious. She stayed in a coma for a month, 
what did I not do as a child? I begged. I pleaded with him. I prayed and fasted with my mother. I gave out my clothes, my shoes to the needy. Yet, he took her. Until he explains to me why he had to allow my father and my younger sister to die such a horrible death. Everything that I believed in died that day. He must explain to me. He must explain to me why he had to inflict such a pain on a child like me. I do not have what to tell him. I don't have anything to tell him. Mom, like I've been telling you, there's nothing to hide. Chukudezi, when did you start keeping secrets from your mom? Mom, I'm not keeping any secrets. Like I said, I would just you when the time is right. And when will the time be? If you gist me now, who will die? Nobody will die. Mama will gist you when I am ready. Or did they tell you I'm the witch behind you not getting married? Uh-uh. Mom, why would you think a thing like that? The kind of thing that runs through this your head, eh? Hmm, they shocked me. Oh. Oh, nobody's talking about witchcraft here now. Hey, what else do you want me to say? Eh? Because these pastors confuse me sometimes. I am the one that told him to talk to my son and pray for him. And now he has refused to tell me what is wrong and what is not wrong. So obviously I'm the problem. Mom, I never said that. I didn't say that now. You don't have to say anything. It is obvious. It is only the ego that does not know that it stinks. Since you don't want to tell me anything, let me mind my business. Mom, this your emotional blackmail will not work on me this night. Please, good night. <coughs> Baby, food is ready. Who is that? Who is that? Eh? Mom, nobody, nobody, please. Good night, good night. You will do what? I know that girl's voice. I know her voice. Eh? Wait, oh. That's the girl talking there. And you said you talk to me tomorrow. Give her the phone. Let her talk. To I want to talk to her. Her voice sounds familiar. Her voice sounds familiar. How? Mom, you don't know this person. You've not met her. Please, good night. Good go. Ah. Your mom? Yes, my mom. You don't want me to talk to her. Are you scared she will like me? Babe, you don't know my mom. <clears throat> if you should talk to my mom this night, all that will be running through her head now is when am I paying your diary? Or if, I, if I'm paying your diary this night. Are you serious? You don't know my mother. She can disturb Africa. The truth is that I have not seen who to convince me. Like, I need a conviction. You know what, baby? After dinner, there is one tiny, little, sexy, nutty thing I'd like to show you in the room. Hmm. <laughs> 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 you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Maybe. <laughs> You want us to eat in the room? Yes, baby. I would like that.
Where are you going? My love awaits me. Why do you choose to embark on a fool's journey? I do not understand. Right is the cost among the living. I do not understand. I do not understand. I do not understand. Bye. This is obviously a demonic attack. But my enemies have failed. They will never succeed in Jesus' name. Mother, stop. This is not the right time. Stop. When is it ever the right time? If I talk, you will say my mouth is smelling. Eh? What would I have done if you had killed this girl? Thank God, oh, Mama. It didn't get out of hand. Oh, thank God you understand, my son. Eh? If it is not that my son hates me, why would he not tell me that he has been under demonic attack for many years? Why would he keep something like this to himself? Am I not his mother? Am I not his mother? Tell him to pray. Mba. Go to church. Cha. 24 hours he's busy fighting with the same God that created him. Enough! Enough now! What? Enough of what? I say enough of what? Eh? Enough of telling my son. My only son the truth. Eh? Enough of being a good mother. Eh? You, you want to give me? Mba no. Kill me! Kill me! Let me go and join my late husband! Let me follow my late husband and go! I say, kill me! Oh, kill me! Kill me! You see what I'm saying, huh? <laughs> I'm talking, you want to kill me! <laughs> mama, mama, please stop crying. Please. Stop crying, please. Yes. Hey. You think I'm crying? Oh, you're not crying. I wasn't crying, Biko. I'm not crying. You know, you know, if I don't act like this, you will not take me serious. Hey. Hey. Just go in there, convince him to get ready so that you go and see the pastor. Huh? Let me quickly make hot ebba and he could see something. Mama, you can act too. Eat. Mama, you can act. <laughs> you like Does food? It? I know you eat. Let me Does it? food. <laughs> He's telling me enough. Who is he shouting at? I'm going to go to I nearly killed this girl. Now small thing remain for kill him. Was it that serious? More than serious. Very serious. Just that I didn't want to tell her mom's see All the details. But how come you never mentioned this to me? All through our 
days in the university. He didn't bother to tell me all this. It is a shameful act. How do I tell you that I only enjoy sex? Only in dreams. It is madness. Oh boy! See Groovo! <laughs> my man! Now my guy! Free good to every night! That one nigga now come. You know I come my guy! If I were you, that is this so lucky to mingle with this free spirit arrangement come to sky, my man. One day. <laughs> There's no point of having girlfriend or a low show you go the lash they give money. Are you normal? You see the reason I never wanted to tell you. Huh? Why are you not ever serious with anything? No, yes. No, no, just keep managing your brother. I mean your brother, just keep managing me. See guy, at this point I don't know what to do. I just don't know what else to do. Uh -huh. What about the pastor? I hope you told him all this. I did. And? The man keeps confusing me. He just... I don't know what he's saying. I, don't, I just don't get it. Keeps confusing me every minute. It is not in my place to force you to find God. But I know God will find you. So then, what about the dream I told you about? I prayed about it and it was revealed to me that the problems you've been having is hinged on a promise broken. Promise? What promise? Brachuku Dozier, who did you promise marriage? Mm -hmm. And I have never made a promise to any woman without fueling it. In that case, you need to go back home and think about this very well. Because the solution to the problems you're having lies in the hand of a woman you have failed. I'm gonna work for you. Who even promised marriage? Who turn the winch with the suck your blood? But you know I'm not like that. I'm gonna love for a bear. Who are you telling that one? Because, anyway, what did he say that is the solution to this whole problem? You know all these people, he said he's going to pray about it. We're even supposed to meet on, on Saturday. I hope you are going. At this point, do I have a choice? In that case, I'll go with you. <clears throat> but don't forget, we are going to see my uncle who lost his last wife on Thursday. Oh, you said that? Yes. But must I really go with you? Okay, I must go with me. What do you mean? What are our friends for? If not to inconvenience each other. Abla. Why you every little thing you like to come as fight? Chaka no walk. No bro no go. Chaka akai buri ana. Because you make kango. Let me get your own now. I can manage this one. Let's go and get your own. You say with a gigi. Ah, it's my uncle's house now. My mother's uh, older brother. What thing they do? He's a relative doctor. Oh, is it because of this? Oh God, if you see the one with the inside bush, use your blockers. Go enter your tummy. Let's go. Guy, wait, you're crazy. Are you normal? You carry me come do juju. <laughs> <laughs> this boy, you don't go, you don't go, you don't go kill me. Oh God, if I want to use you do juju. I for all use them since. They for all they play amino, amino for me. Okay, let's go, Joe. Come, 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 come. I'm, mean, you know, time. What do you get with you? I'm, you know, you don't tell. You just abandon us for corner like sippers don't cut. Evie, hey, you know, gonna understand. You just, anyway, it's a long story. You long through, through. Because now, where auntie, your mother died, now we see last. 
Now my mama don't die. Now you can't show face again. I, I will stop now, please. See, you see this talk? Mm. We will talk later. Okay. Where, Papa? There inside. I beg, let me call him. You know, tell me, say, your uncle and native doctor. Now I see where your character they come from. See, all these times with the art like date. Now I know. Which can we talk with this one? What is the worry? 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 What is I who, who carry you come inside my house? Nobody, I don't understand. How you understand? We will not go just the open mouth. Cho, 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 they talk anyhow. Eh? You get mind. Carry Juju. Come inside my house. Jesus. You know I cannot do such a thing. Like, how? You blind? You not the see him? Now the oracle be this. Uh, now the girl be that for that dog. What girl? So you know they see that girl? You promised her marriage in the presence of Otinubo, an oracle of justice. You did not stop there. You called on God of the heavens and the earth to bear you witness. You willingly swore that if you did not marry her, you will never marry any other person. And that is why you can never stay with any woman, no matter what you do. Your promise to her, you must fulfill. With all due respect, sir, I did not promise any girl any marriage. And I did not swear before any deity. And I did not call on any god to bear me witness or anything. I did not do that. <laughs> This boy no get sense so. You just stupid. If not before this, your year, year friend and your mother will get good heart and they worship God with clean heart. I will just leave you, make you suffer. By the time when you reach 80 years, then you don't get the kid. You no get wife. You go know what you do yourself. Uncle, uncle, please. Uncle, please. Help us. Help him. Please, help him. Eh? Please. Take this cola nut. Chop this cola nut. Eat it. If you finish the cola nut, go inside the bathroom. Take your bath. There's black soap and every other thing there. I don't want to know whether you believe what I'm saying or you don't believe. Me, I know, I know, I don't want to know. Now, what in God say make I do? Now, I don't do so. Uh -huh. Okay, wait till they bring this rubbish now. Wait till be this nonsense now. Wait till be wait till. Wait till why are you hungry? Address me. So wait till wait till be all this thing. Okay, wait till they worry you. They mad. Are you not tired? You know they pity yourself. You know are you, all this thing will happen to you. You know are you not tired? Eh? No, be touch with you. You hold for hand. 
Okay, say na church. No be native doctor now where you go for hand. You just they just they flow like paper where they just stand, throw them for up. I beg gas out, go gamba. Guy, calm down, I saw. Okay, gas out, my friend. Man, wish with you. I go get you with you, Oga. This call now, what do you even say make I do with them? Oga, swallow it if you can swallow it. Go, Oga, go chop, go there, go and chop it. Go and bath, go and bath, go and bath, go and bath, go and bath. Evie! Papa! Where did you now? Nine minutes. <laughs> even that brother. So what am I supposed to do with this? Lick it. Everything you eat. Then, kneel down and pray. Tell the creator of the heavens and the earth to forgive you. What if I don't do that? You will enjoy the rest of your life the way you have chosen. But mark you, in the process of dragging this thing, if the girl dies, you will also die. Go to the dog. Is there nothing you can do about it? I have told him what he needs to do. If he does it, the girl will come to him willingly. The truth is that I don't even know this girl you're talking about. You will know her when you see her. An hour now, you, you're not coming to open the door for me. Huh? You got me scared. Mommy, you get scared with everything. I was sleeping now. What kind of sleep? You see why I keep saying that you need somebody to be, to, to be with no, you? No, 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 no. Mom, please don't start. I am not in the mood. Not this morning. Don't be angry. Sorry. Uh, go and get dressed. Let's go. Go to where? Pastor Mike said he wants to see you. That he's been calling you through last night. You're not picking. My appointment with him is for tomorrow, not today. Well, he called me early this morning to say that he wants to see you. That is an emergency. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Now, let, let me freshen up. And... Uh, you, you, are, you are not smelling. Your mouth is not even smelling. Jack. Mom! Uh, go and change what you're wearing. What's that? Uh, sorry. Hey! Oh. Please hurry up, oh, hurry up! Hurry up, we don't have time. Sister Rose, if anything happens to that girl, the same thing will happen to your son. Happen? How? If she dies, your son dies. Jesus! Mother, wait, wait, hold on. Pastor. Do you know one uncle, Timothy? A quality man. Is he a member of my congregation? That is not possible. This boy, what is wrong with you? Eh? He just talked about that and you are here asking him one, uh, uh, Thomas. No, no, it, it, it's okay, Sister Rose. I'm sure he has a reason why he asked that question. Not important. So, tell me, what do I do? Sincerely, nothing. You have to find the girl and beg her. Do you say you cannot remember who she is? 
Not at all. Um... Yes, uh, come in. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Welcome, brother. Uh, this is Pastor. Yes, your sister. Uh, sister Rose, you know Brother Kafo. He's the leader of the men's group in the church. Of course, I know him. Brother Kafo, this is our son, Brachuku Dozier. Oh, how are you, brother? I am fine. Uh, I am not sure I have seen you in our congregation. Anyways, I try to come with mother next Sunday. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Kafu. Yes. Sisters. Yes. Do you know me? Yes. You taught mathematics at Baptist Secondary School in Uguaba. Yes, I did. Have we met before? Yes. My name is Chukudo Ziobi. The Brainiac. They used to call me my father. <laughs> <laughs> Chukudozi. Look at you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hi. How are you, sir? I am fine. You look good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small world. Indeed, it is, Sister Rose. Ha! Chukudozi. Sir. <laughs> he used to be such a brilliant young man in school. But for some reason, he had this rebellious trait. He was angry with everything, especially God. What are you doing here? I'm sitting down, sir. This is a part of the school and I'm sure I'm able to sit anywhere I want. Mm. This is the most stupid statement I have ever heard. And you are smoking? I'm sure you didn't see the cigarettes in my hand, sir. I do not smoke. Look me in the eye and lie without flinching. Sir, I do not lie, sir. I made the stops here. You write down the names of the boys you've been smoking with. So obviously you can't smoke this alone. I don't know who they are. It's a, it's a very big school. You will go to the staff room and wait for me. On your way, pack gravel. Pour it on one corner of the staff room. Kneel on it. Face the wall until I am ready to attend to you. Don't, you don't know them. No problem, sir. I'll ask you for the last time. Why did you break the window in the chapel? Because I wanted to, sir. How do you mean you wanted to? When you're not insane or possessed by the demon? That is the chapel. The house of God. Then let God kill me, sir. Let God send lightning to strike me for breaking a few windows in his house of worship. At least he has killed people I know for nothing. If it's so easy for God to kill people who believe and worship him, why is it so difficult for him to kill me? Is it not the all-consuming fire? Can I go now, sir? Go where? To my hostel. To pack my things and leave like you asked. He was too brilliant. That was why I couldn't let him be sent out of school, no matter what. 
Yes, I did and said a lot of horrible things to you. I am sorry. I don't regret it. All is forgiven. But like I always say, one can't claim to love God if he can't love others. I hope you have found God. Hmm. Uh, my brother, that is another story. We... Yes, who is that? Kafo's daughter? Brother Kafo. That was Brother Kafo's daughter? Yes. Jesus. Jesus. He just mentioned Jesus again. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Meet me there now. Meet me there now. Now, 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 now. Not true. Not she. Not the same person where you they see for your dream. She no be like that for my dream. I mean that thing for her back. She no get them for my dream. She has you they open mouth. They bend them to one corner. They call her hunchback. That thing. When we say for dream, now you carry the hunchback. And she they normal. Still they follow you. You did sweet you. Um, but uncle, we don't understand. We are confused. What does this mean? Now you be saying you don't see your wife. <laughs> Daughter, stop crying. You will fall sick if you continue like this. <laughs> Let me just fall sick and die. My God will not allow us to pass through such pain. I killed that man, Father. I killed him. You did not. I just spoke to Pastor Mike and he told me that the young man is okay. Are you sure? I hope you're not saying this so I can stop crying. Father, he was scared of me. Father, you almost died out of fear because of me. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of all this. I'm tired. <laughs>
if you claim she's the one, the question is, how? Then say, person we shit for road, not they remember. Now person we pack them, now not they forget. Waiting be that quarrel. When you get with that girl, Papa, where they cause all these things. The truth is that um, we had a lot of issues while I was in secondary school. Because he tried to protect me. He always preached God to me. But the more he tries, the more angry I got. But I don't see the connection between this and his daughter. Because we never met while I was in secondary school. Waiting be the last quarrel. The one we never take him come out for the school. That I can't remember clearly. Because a week before I left that school, the man became extremely annoying. How? Oh. He kept picking on me. If it's not me reading the Bible verse, it's me sweeping the chapel. He even asked me to go and join the choir for spiritual elevation. He called it. He tried everything to make me believe in God. But how would I have believed that? When the only picture that comes to my head was the picture of my father burning in his car. And the, my little sister who, who died a horrible death. So, what happened? Their words not only upset me, but it's made me angry. Was that all? Not really. You see, throughout that week, I tried everything to avoid Mr. Okafo. Because I didn't want to have any confrontation with him. Within that week, I had some funny stories about him and what made him a staunch Christian. But the most shocking one was about his daughter who was said to have a mental challenge.
other woman, no other woman will be enough for me except her. I swear. Oga, okay. what kind of nonsense is this now? Eh? How could you lay a curse upon yourself? Guy, I was young and brash. I was talking not knowing it to resort to this. Hey! Um, um, please, Uncle. No verse. I want to know, is it because of all these things he said now, that's why he's into all these problems? Yes and no. No, if he talk I'm somewhere else. Yes, because of where he talk I'm. How? When did it happen? What do you notice? Nothing. Think. I can't really remember anything. This happened like 20 years ago. Wait. Wait. Um, I don't know if this makes sense. See, I was standing under a tree. Yes. And one of the three branches broke and some white birds flew off. And before then, I've never seen those birds there. Those are the acolytes of Odinubo, the deity of justice, whose home is that tree. Deity? Yes. The entire land that houses the missionary school used to be a sacred land for the deity of Odinubo whose supplicants came from far and near, for it is known to be fair in judgment. You stood on sacred ground and questioned the existence of the heavens and the earth. You Please help us. Make I kill myself? No, sir. Sir, please, what do you mean by nothing and something? Nothing when I talk, be say. You they ask whether God did. And say if he did, you go do like this. You go do like this. As you don't see him now, God did. Something when I talk. They say, you go, go find that girl, Mariam. Because if you know Mariam, as he be say, when I don't see each other, eye to eye, something will change. Your story just started. Your journey long, it be like impotent man when married ten wives. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I do anything wrong? No. 
It's not your fault. It's mine. Oh, you're not attracted to me anymore. No. Why would you say it like that? You are a beautiful woman. Any man in his right senses will be attracted to you. Well, not you. I've been trying to touch you for over an hour now, yet your dragon is still hidden. It was a stressful day for me, if that's why. Baby, let's try again, please. Baby, wait. Let's do it later. Discuss this, please. Why? Pretend that all is well? <sighs> Baby, I've been here for six days. You've not even been able to touch me or make love to me. Babe, I said, stop. I told you already I have a lot running through my head. And what is that a lot running through your head that has no name? What makes your manhood limp? Stop! I just don't want to talk about this. <gasps> Baby, do you hate me? Do you detest me? Or does my body repulse you? You know that's not true. I don't hate you. I don't. Prove it. Make love to me like you used to. What is wrong with you? Can you get hold of yourself? Do you want me to leave? Stay. I love you.
Kena kamu Tak kamu dipocah Hi Me Sorry I don't mean to start to hear What do you want? Okay, I'm sorry, my name is um, Chidoze and, uh, I I know who you are. I I I mean, um, you are the one that collapsed the other day at Pastor Mike's office. Unfortunately, yes, I am. I said that day was a drama day for me. Quite an embarrassing day. But I was... What do you want? Okay, I... I came to see your father. He's not at home. I will let him know you came. Okay. So how are you? Did you come to see my father? Or did you come to chit chat? Or maybe confirm that the monster you saw is real. No. How could you say that? Let me get your receipt. No, no. I'm fine. I'm not an invalid. I didn't mean it that way. How then did you mean it, if I may ask? Um, I mean I can I can make do with this. I can sit here. Sincerely, I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Your father is an angel. If such a thing exists. There you go again. If such a thing exists. Have you not learned your lessons over the years? Did anyone say something to you? A anything like what? Never mind. Nothing. Anyway. I was only speaking from what my father told me about you and your feud with God. Oh, Dad. See, I must say you speak eloquently. Thank you. It's what comes with having a passionate educationist as a father. I was homeschooled and um, I've been his priority for as long as I can remember. He's a good man. Yes, he is. God has been his strength. Our strength. See, this is the part that I do not understand. Why? 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 Why what? Why this God after all this? All this? Oh, this? <laughs> Listen, all were created perfectly in the image of the Almighty. 
And the fact that you continue to see this as a punishment means you have no understanding of who your creator is. I am my father's cross, his faith, his salvation. What is your cross, oh my father? And where will your salvation come from? Yes. Or who do you want me to be? Do you want me to be someone else? I could be anyone or anything you want. I can be anything and anyone you want. That is so sexy. Why do I want you so much? That sounds so sexy. It's scary. Don't be scared. Don't worry. I will take all your fears away. Come with me. Patience, child. She dreams, and a dream it will remain.
You have lost your mind. What if the father had caught you? Like I told the girl, I was just passing by and decided to say hi. Now I know you've lost your mind. Now I calm down. I know what I'm doing. I know what you're doing. You know what you're doing, yet you went and embarrassed yourself with an erection. You see why I don't like telling you anything? You see why I don't like telling you things about me? Whatever. By the way, the poor girl in your house, does she know that you always imagine another girl whereas making love to her? Now you're making it seem as if I've done evil. Or guy, you've done more than evil. Guy, hmm. yeah, calm down. If you want to advise me, advise me. What do I need to do? Um, I think you should talk to the father. Make him understand what has been going on. And you think that would solve the problem? At least you have made a boost. No. I think uh, I still need to talk to that girl more. There is something about that girl. Okay, there is nothing special about this girl. This girl is just a hunchback. Nothing more, nothing less. What is driving you crazy is your, your sexual perfection towards her. Guy! Guy! Get, uh, wait, 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 wait. If you want to advise me, advise me. Don't insult me, okay? The problem is not yours. Thank God you know it's a problem. Treat it as one. See, you have to talk to your mother to call the pastor so that they can talk to the girl's father. You remember what my uncle said? In the course of delay, and that girl dies. That girl dies. Organa six feet two. Organa six feet two. Yeah, hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, is this Mr. Duzier? Yes, this is Mr. Duzier. Please, who am I speaking with? This is Okafo. Hey. <laughs> good morning, sir. How are you doing today? I am fine, thank you. How are you and your mother? We're fine, sir. We're fine. <laughs> My daughter told me that you came to look for me some days back. So I had to get your number from our pastor today because I've been busy. I hope there is no problem. Nothing really, nothing really. Um, an old school friend of mine told me you live around there, so I decided to stop by and say hello. But unfortunately, you weren't around, so your daughter told me you just stepped out. Oh, okay, okay. Um, why not come around some other time? I think Fridays will be better because I usually hold men's fellowship prayer meetings every Friday. Um, um, Friday, Friday. Uh, let me see if I am not busy. I'll come around, yeah. <laughs> I know you were going to say that. We will keep you in prayer. Bye now. It's all right, sir. Do take care of yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Sunday. Clean that thing first. I'm leaving now. All right?
think it's right for me to be in here with you? Why do you? I do not see it as being afraid, but respect. That sounds better. So tell me, truthfully, why are you always parked outside my father's compound? What do you want? Sorry? I, I see you every morning in that car, packed for a few minutes, an hour, and then you drive off. What do you want? Um, well, I... I was just checking up on you. You really don't have to. The first time we met, you collapsed. Another day we met, you said you came here to see my father. But you were packed outside when my father left. Yes, I saw you. You were in that car before my father left and subsequently, for days, you've always been coming here, just packed there. I don't understand. What do you want? Well, your father was good to me while I was in school. He tried to guard and protect me. Directly or indirectly, that has affected my life positively. And you feel you owe it to him? To be nice to his hunchbacked daughter who you consider as an invalid? If I tell you before then, I know you will not understand. I come here every morning because I want to.
I'm sorry about what happens today. What are you talking about? The kiss. Oh, <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm not sorry about it. Though it was my first time, but I liked it. Your first time? <laughs> Please do not rub it in. Thank you. For what? For for making me feel special. You are special. Very special. Um, can I see you tomorrow? If you want to. Of course I want to. <laughs> okay then. Good night. Good night, dear. Yeah, just sleep tight to Babe, what are you doing out here? You should be in bed. The same bed I'm waiting for you to come to. This is past midnight. <sighs> Who was that on the phone? I don't understand. You don't understand what? With the way you've been sneaking around the house, it is obvious that you're seeing someone else. Don't be absurd. What is that now? Uh-uh. Why are you talking this way? Okay, who was that? Who were you talking to? Obviously, it was a woman. Okay, I was talking to <clears throat> my cousin's sister. She has been having issues with her marriage, so I'm kind of counseling her on what to do. Are you sure? Very sure. You know I love you, and I don't want to lose you. You are not losing me, okay? I don't know why you're scared. You're not losing me. Are you sure? Very sure. Okay then, let's go to bed, please. I'll join you. Together. <laughs> please. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Morning. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. I got you this. For me? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Thank A lot. you. I hope you're going to like it. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So, do you want to come in? Okay. I'll just spend a um, few minutes. Okay. I have somewhere to rush to. Okay. Yeah. Um, have you had? Are you avoiding me? No, why are you sitting like that? 
what else do you want me to say? Eh? Each time I call you to tell to tell you that I want to come and see you, you tell me you're not around. Eh? You don't even come here for lunch or to carry your soups. Though that one I understand. Eh, because Tochi said eh, there's a girl that is now living with you. What is wrong with that Tochi? Nothing is wrong with him. He's a good friend. Hey, hey, now tell me, uh, and that girl, where is she from? Who is her father? Not forgetting her mother. What do they do? Are they Christians? Hey, even if they are not a, a strong Christian, with prayer she will become strong. You know I don't subscribe to sin. So you have to do everything as fast as possible so that we'll go and pay her dowry. Mom, you don't even know this girl. Are you already asking me to go marry her? How? What else do I need to know about her? If she's good enough to stay under your roof and she's good enough to lie on your bed, even make your food, and then she's good enough to, to marry. Gekwante, you better go and ask about her people before I come and do that myself. Eh? I guess I have to see you later or tomorrow. That is what you always tell me. You will see me later. And my nana will need to go now. It's more than I come and tell me she's not good enough. Josie, what is wrong with you? Mary, I am not in the mood. Please don't start. Whatever quarrel you want to pick up with me has to wait till tomorrow. I've had enough fight with my mother already. I swear you have not even started. What is your problem? What do you want from me? What? I want you to be sincere and truthful. But you're a liar and a cheat! Watch your tongue. Don't push me further than you already have. Push you? No one needs to push you. You willingly dive yourself into rubbish. You know what? I will not indulge you with another word. Of course not. You have said all you need to say to your little tat. So you have nothing for me. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I saw your little deformed girlfriend today. <laughs> Dozie, you are shameless. You followed me? Yes. And I am sick in my stomach to even think or imagine that you touch that thing and come back home and mount me. Dozie, you are repulsive. What is it that you want in a woman that I cannot do for you? What? Yet you sneak out of this house to go be with that beast with a camel up. Are you mad? Have you lost it? How dare you describe her in that manner? You hit me because of that thing. If you don't wash your tongue, I'll hit you again. You will regret it. Mary, do not try to end the story you do not know the beginning. You know what? You can have this house all to yourself. I'm tired.
I told you, this girl's issue will bring problem. I advise you to go to the father and all this whole problem would have been solved. Master Nashi is not the problem. How is she not the problem? When the whole problem revolves around her, you started with this girl and she might end up killing you or you killing her. That's the exact words my uncle used. Talking to you at times is like talking to a deaf date. I don't know. I'm not working at The truth is bitter. Go home to that poor girl and settle with her. Why are you calling poor girl? The one that was behaving like a mad woman last night. That made me sleep outside my house. Every normal girl would have done the same. Even some girls would have stabbed you. After the beating you gave her, claiming it was a nightmare, you turn around and cheat on her. How many times do I need to tell you that I have nothing to do with her last night? You see, the way you are mentioning her name exposes your randy nature. Okay, let's go together and beg her to see if she can forgive you. Hmm. Who are you? Who I am doesn't really matter. What matters is that I have a message for you. Message? Yes. Stay away from my husband. I will not warn you again. Stay far away from him. But how will I know your husband when I don't even know you? And why will your husband choose me over a beautiful lady like you? I like the fact that people like you know your place in the world. Understand the fact that people like me should not have to contend for the love of our husbands with people like you. Understand the fact that people like you should remain in the dark where you're meant to be. I will not warn you again. Who is your husband? Choku Dozie. He has pitied you enough. Stick to your kind. Termites dwell on the ground, hidden. So stay hidden on the ground. of my heart would not have played in vain. That my spirit would not have entered in vain. And that my body would not have been scored in vain. And that my chief would not be so great. And have I failed you yet? No. 
Oh, hat er gehabt. So, where is she going? I don't know, bro, I don't know. I just don't know. But you said her bags are gone too. <laughs> that doesn't mean she's gone. You see, the truth of matter is this. You see this girl? She comes in and goes out with those bags anytime she... The truth is, I'm just used to it. Are you sure you've not promised this girl marriage? Guy, how good you talk that kind of talk? What's up with you now? They could come and marry. Because I don't understand you this place. Guy, I don't promise marriage. Calm down. What's up with you? What is it? Something bad just happened to you last night. Are you serious? Yeah, that must have been Mary. I don't care what her name is or who she is. Since she says you are her husband, keep her far away from my daughter. I swear by God Almighty, you will not like what I will do. No, no, careful, please calm down. Pastor, with all due respect, there is nothing to calm down about. My daughter almost died. And I, I, I just found out that, that she's been coming to my house behind my back to do what I don't know. All I am saying is that I don't want ever to see you near my house or my daughter. What do you put yourself to do every day? Huh? Jesus. Do you want to kill me? What did I do? Me up with a rubber. Wicked. How could you keep a thing like that from me? Did you even wait to visit the native doctor? Ah, God. God. What a stop. Who did I offend? Can you stop and I beg for a hug. I beg for my mother's voice to reassure me that everything is fine and perfect. To Juju in my house. Juju, what? Hey, go for you, though. Eh? I can never promote Juju in any way. To fear, what? But everything you just said now is about Juju this, Juju that, and a supposed oracle in a tree in the school where I used to teach. Hey, Mbano. I don't subscribe to anything that is not of God. 
and I will never until I die. Hey, Brother Okafo, do you know I will never say anything like that? I will never tell you that. Eh? Juju? Tofia? No. I'm a Christian, you know. So why are you here? Um, sir, I would love to see Master Nachi. Please. Young man, the only reason you are in my house seated is because of your mother. Don't push your luck. Biko, uh, please, please, don't be angry, oh? Help us, help me. Help you with what? Help you with what your native doctor said? No, sir. I, so I can explain. Explain what? Let me just explain that you will understand. Leave my house. So this is the reason you've been coming to this house. Why didn't you just come out straight to tell me you wanted to use me instead of pretending? Masnachi. No. Masnachi, I've been trying to reach you. I've been trying to call you. But your number wasn't going. Please, I will explain. Explain what? That the only reason you pretended to like me was because of your cost. Leave now. Pastor Mike said he has tried severally to talk to him, but uh, Brother Okafor has remained adamant on not wanting you close to his daughter. What is even wrong with this man? What is wrong with this man? After everything, he's still proving stubborn. Mama, I think the problem here is that he still sees Dozier as that little boy he, he used to discipline in secondary school. And an unrepentant unbeliever. Yeah, bro, say, I know you still like this girl, but your reason, I don't understand. Can you go straight to the point? Because well, I don't understand all these things you're saying. All I'm saying is that the reason we went there is to seek the solution to this whole problem. But instead, you went there and fell in love. I understand everything you told me. Yes, I think the girl likes you too. So what's your point? My point is that you should go to the girl, go to the house. Talk to this girl, make her see reasons. Make her know how you feel about her. Are you listening to me at all? Have you been listening to me? Guy, I told you I have called this girl several times and she refused to take my calls. I've even gone to her house. I had to wait for her father to go out. Then I woke up to her door and knocked. She refused to open the door. What else do you want me to do? I would like to see your uncle. Hmm? My uncle? He's a native doctor. I know. I have never been there all my life. But I still need to hear from him directly. Pastor Mike said that everything he said to you people is true. But I still want to hear from him. Let me hear with my ears and understand what he's saying. And I believe that what God cannot do does not exist. You worry, you worry child. child. I worry, mothers. Because of the promise that was made me before I passed on to the afterlife. 
and has that promise been broken? No, mothers. But, but your daughter, daughter will for her vengeance is incomplete. What, what more, more do you, you seek, seek, child? My mother said, I'll find pain for those who have been pain. I'll find grief for those who have been grief. And I will find desolation for those who made me desolate. And has, and has that, that promise, promise been broken? Been broken? No. It hasn't, but it leaves us. <laughs> a man who to love that, that which he detests, just, just to get, get what, what he wants. wants. Can, Can one who does not love, love, love his creator, creator love, love his creation? creation? Do you want me? Seriously, I don't know. But I just can't keep away from you. And when you get what you want, you leave me where you found me. I allow tomorrow to heal itself. Let's leave for today. Master Chief. Come in. I hope you've not been crying. Mm. I'm I'm okay, Father. Mm. You're okay. And you've not touched your food. Um, I'm going to eat later, Dad. This is what you did yesterday. And at the end of the day, what you took was a few spoons of pap before going to bed. You've been doing this over a week now. Masinachi. That boy doesn't want it. He is not your tears. I would rather die than to let him or his like hurt you. Please, please, I, I beg you, I'm, I'm sorry, please. I, oh, okay, I, I promise you, I'm going to eat. I'm, I'm going to eat, please. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to prepare pepper soup for you. Fresh fish pepper soup. <laughs> and I'm going to prepare it the way you like it. But I call style. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Uh -huh. Father. Why is the world wicked? Why do they seek understanding in what they do not understand? It is not the world, child. Because it was created in perfection. But men, Men have lost the love of God in their heart. A man finds peace only when he finds God. A man finds peace only when he finds God. Guy, I just realized something. A man finds peace when he finds God. Where's that one coming from? I don't know, man. 
just show it to my soul in my spirit. <laughs> That's good. Anyway, um, you know, this cigarette you're smoking, if Momsi comes out from the kitchen, I says it. She will not be happy. Guy, forget Momsi. Forget Momsi. See this, sir. If I share what is in this set with your mom, she I'm not going to run mad. Boy, calm down. I'm not going to run mad. Though. Calm down, my friend. Okay. What are you saying? Anyway. What about that, you be? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> this boy will not kill me. <laughs> Which one? I know there are plenty. The one that likes you most. Who? Oh. Mary, now. That girl to like you. Now you know. What's now. up? You see that girl, Mary? She has been calling and coming, but I just don't want to allow her to enter this house. What happened? What's wrong with you? She's trying to step on me now. Oh, boy, wake up. Oh. All these girls, where they see? This one like you most. Guy. No fresh guy now. Girls like me. As in, what is the form now? As in, fine boy. Fine guy. Girls like me. <laughs> oh, boy, come down. Who girls don't like? <laughs> <laughs> brother Kafo, I want to thank you for honoring my invitation. Our brother here has something to say to you. Pastor Mike, do we have to do this again? Hear him out. Okay, sir. I am listening. <gasps> sir, first and foremost, I want to say I am sorry. Forever hurting your daughter and disrespecting. I, I, can you just go straight to the party? There's no need to dancing around in circles. Say what you want to say. My brother, please, we are not here to quarrel. Eh? We just want to find a way to settle things amicably. My sister, I'm not a troublesome or quarrelsome person. But for the fact that your son has a problem with an oracle or deity has nothing to do with my daughter. We are Christians, born again without apology. And I cannot compromise my faith for anything or for anybody. Let me just tell you before you waste your time. There is nothing your son will say that will make me change my mind. I want to marry your daughter. Chukuduzi. Don't be in a hurry to take Rat's decision. Mother, I know what I want. You are mad. You are totally insane. You don't know me. Don't try this with me or my family. Because I will beat you down. I will beat you like a baby. Try me. Calm down. Calm down, Bruno Kafo. Calm down. Let karma heads prevail. Pastor, I have passed that bridge a long time ago. Even the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffered violence. And only the violent which I have become can stand and face principalities and powers that comes from the kingdom of darkness. Do you think you can buy my conscience with money? Never. Stay away from my daughter. This is your last warning. God bless you, Pastor.
you remember me this time. Agua da tumba, 